to impact and film techniques. This week's movie is Casualties of War. Casualties of War is a 1989 Vietnam War film directed by Brian De Palma, starring Michael J. Fox and Sean Penn. The movie is based on true events of a soldier who is faced with many difficult decisions within his platoon. This movie takes place in 1966 in the jungle terrain of Vietnam. And Vietnam in 1966 was after the Gulf of Tonkin incident and before the Tet Offensive. Although this film is based on true events, the description of the mission that the platoon is sent on is never told to the viewer of the movie. They are told, however, that it is a recon mission into the jungle to find Viet Cong camps. The political atmosphere surrounding the war at the time of the events that took place started to change. The opinion on the war began to also change and protests began to break out all over the country. Soldiers were also being shipped into Vietnam by the masses because after the Gulf of Tonkin incident, more and more troops began to arrive in Vietnam. Now let's talk about the movie itself. Casualties of War is considered one of the top Vietnam War films, and it talks about a true event from the war to raise awareness on the tragedy that happened in 1966. This was uncommon for Vietnam War films because they often had a different style of presenting a theme. Although insanity and humanity were themes often seen in these types of films, it was rarely shown of this internal battle within the platoon. There were also very few battle scenes, but the movie is still very graphic and heartbreaking, which is often seen in many Vietnam War films. The acting is excellent, as expected with such great actors like Michael J. Fox and Sean Penn. And now for the reason that we're all here, the film techniques. The techniques used throughout the movie and in certain scenes really enhance the movie and they elevate it from a good Vietnam War film to a great one. Now let's look at the different film techniques used throughout the movie. I wanna focus on three of them that all occur during the same scene but also add to the theme of the overall movie, which is the battle between insanity and humanity, both in Vietnam and in their platoon, but also within the main character himself. The three techniques are a handheld shot, a tracking shot, and a tilted shot. These all represent something different, but also add to the overall theme of the movie. Before I get into the certain scene itself, let me give you a little background on the film and where we are in the movie. The group of soldiers that this movie focuses on is getting back from a battle and they're getting a bunch of rest, but they do not get enough and they're sent out in a recon mission. Before this recon mission starts, they, are, they go to a local Vietnamese village and kidnap a Vietnamese girl and take her hostage. The events that follow this are questioned by some of the members of the platoon, including Erickson, the main character, because he is new to Vietnam and does not want to follow the commands of his commanding officer. After they settle down in a local camp, they, he is outed by his platoon for not wanting to attack and assault the Vietnamese girl who was kidnapped and here he is faced with many difficult choices up until the scene that I will focus on. After they complete the recon mission that they were sent to do, they return back to the base where Erickson, the main character, is constantly trying to report the crimes that his fellow soldiers in the platoon committed. Some characters that you might want to know for the scene that you're going to watch are Erickson, who is the private and protagonist. He's the only one who defies the uh, commanding officer. 
Meserve is the commanding officer and the antagonist of the movie and starts the attack and assault on the Vietnamese girl. Clark is the captain and second in command to Meserve and he always supports his decisions and is has been in Vietnam for a long time has and it has really affected him. Hatcher is a private and is new to Vietnam, but he, the culture around the war affects him a lot faster than it does Erickson, so he also supports Meserve. And Diaz, the last character, is the most quiet of the group, and because he doesn't really want much to do with the consequences of not following commands, he follows Meserve's lead and joins in as well. Now we will look at the scene that I've referenced and break it down and discuss what each shot means and the impact on the moment and the film overall. Okay, that's right, we're going home. Go. Go, go, go! I can't go. I'm gonna be a goddamn deserter. Go, go, go! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do it. You don't understand. Now let's look at the three different shots that were used in this scene. First, the handheld shot is used here, and although it is not shown in the clip, here is a picture of it. In this case, the person holding the camera has to go through a broken down building to get the effect and reaction of both characters because of the importance of this point in the movie. The shot is seen when the camera zooms in and captures the interaction between Erickson and the Vietnamese girl. The shakiness of the camera actually represents how Erickson is feeling because he, he is very nervous about helping the Vietnamese girl because he doesn't know how his platoon will react. They had previously accused him of helping and sympathizing with the Viet Cong, so that is why he is nervous. There's also a major sense of urgency because he wants to help the Vietnamese girl get out of the house and escape as fast as possible. And this also shows the whole scenario and the event surrounding Erickson and because he is constantly fighting with uh, humanity and insanity throughout this scene and the entire movie. Next, a tracking shot is used to show Clark returning back to the broken down house. This film technique is very important because it allows the viewer to interpret and realize the many things that are happening in the eventuality of Clark returning. Clark has already attacked the Vietnamese girl once and therefore he represents the insanity that is within the platoon and is also in Vietnam. This confrontation is clearly about to happen as you see Erickson constantly trying to choose whether to side with humanity or insanity and Clark represents the insanity that is going to try and come and take over him. The tracking shot has a literal meaning behind it as well because it shows the setting change as Clark begins to return from where the rest of the platoon is through the area in Vietnam where they are and all the way back to the broken down house to confront the Vietnamese girl and Erickson. The last shot is, that is used is a tilted shot where the camera turns 45 degrees during the scene. 
It is very interesting to see this type of shot used because, as you probably know, most movies are filmed upright, so there has to be a meaning behind why the camera turns 45 degrees. And it actually represents how confused Erickson is with the entire situation, not only in the scene, but throughout the entire movie. He doesn't know whether to choose humanity or insanity or what to do with the Vietnamese girl. The filmmakers use this certain technique to represent the spinning and twisting that is going on in Erickson's mind because he's very confused and doesn't know what to decide. He's confused because he doesn't know whether he wants to become a deserter and save the Vietnamese girl or if he should be outed by his crew, his squad mates and, and stay. Although he ultimately takes the humane route, this film technique used by the director and the crew implement and provide a lot to interpret throughout the entire scene, but more specifically, the humanity and the insanity that is seen throughout the movie. As the viewer of the film, you are convinced that Erickson has made the right decision in doing the humane thing, but Catherine McMohan writes an article denying that Erickson made the right choice. She said that killing and other atrocities and losing your innocence is all a part of war, but also references the fact that following your commanding officer is also in a very important thing. She later goes on to say that it is not Erickson's fault because the military has a false conception during the Vietnam War that they can take young kids who are 17 and 18 years old and train them and s send them to war to kill while trying to also preserve their innocence that they have grown up with and try and be the most morally correct that they are because there is a human element to war and the military often forgets that and thinks that their armies are considered the machine when there's actually error from these humans involved. I also want to look at the influence and impact of film techniques in all media and the result that they have on the viewer. In an article by Tony Murphy, he talks about the impact of media and how it can influence the public perception and behavior of certain films and events that are going on in the world. So when a director uses a certain film technique to send a message or convey a theme to a, the viewer, it has a lot of impact on the entirety of a population who is watching that film. Next, I want to reference and look at the effects of the Vietnam War and the great impact of it. What better way to do that than look at the first-hand accounts from soldiers themselves who were there. In a press release from 1974 from veterans of the war, they talked about the scarred their scarred bodies and minds. The public did not recognize the major physical but also psychological effects that the war had because many of the veterans were changed forever. They threw their medals away and many of the awards that they won from the war because of the atrocities like the My Lai Massacre. Therefore, soldiers appreciate movies like Casualties of War because they bring recognition to the terrible things that happened. Soldiers were going insane and there was little to no help for them or anyone else who was affected by the war and it caused a downward, downward spiral for them and for those who stood against the culture of the Vietnam War did not last. Overall, Casualties of War is a great film and it really relates back to the many themes from the Vietnam War and the films associated with it. Despite the heavy scenes, the movie is really well done and, and I agree with it being one of the best Vietnam War films. Again, the story is unique and there is no other film out there that brings to light a terrible event like this one. They really bring out the best in each character enhance, in, and enhance the movie with a, through a whole new level through the different film techniques that they used. Without them, the, the, the themes would not be as well represented and the movie itself would not be as well done. Thank you for watching the impacts of film techniques. I'm Will O'Connor.